Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. My name is Rick Conti and I sell these bad boys right here. That's right, and we do this vlog having fun talking about it, sharing your experiences and mine along the way. Glad that you're here. So today on the vlog, I wanna share with you yet another uh, neat buying experience feedback from a client in the state of Washington. He's in a wheelchair. Do you think that spoils his passion for Corvette? Absolutely not. You're gonna love his feedback. Also, we're gonna share a great promo video from Spring Mountain, the Ron Fellows Race School. That takes your Corvette ownership experience to an all new ultimate level. You gotta watch this video within our vlog today. And then we're gonna not only debut, but we're going to give away the brand new C7 Grand Sport hat I've been talking about. Now, if you were on my Facebook page last night, Rick Corvette Conti, you already seen it, but we're gonna show you what you actually have to do to win it at the end of this vlog. So thanks for being here. But right now, let's go back inside and let's show you what replaced where the Corvette Christmas tree was. So a while ago, we rearranged the Corvette office. I moved internet lines, moved the couch, moved the desk so I can see the lot a little bit better. And I've not really put a lot of my stuff. I don't have all of it in here. Can't fit it in here. But uh, I didn't put a lot of the neat stuff back in the office yet. So I want people to just have that comfort that they're in the Corvette atmosphere when they come here to buy their Corvette. And what replaced the Corvette Christmas tree is this. Now, yes, don't be scared. That's a Corvette Barbie on the top of my case. <laughs> I bought that at a show. My daughter got the yellow one. Dad got the red one. And look at this at the top of the case before I actually show you the case. This was hard to get. I looked all over the place and found only one, 1 18th scale ZR1 in the Centennial Edition. Man, I love that car. But here is what replaced the Christmas tree. It fits 1 24th scale. I got all new plexiglass in there now, and it rotates. So check this out. So really need a lot of my Franklin mints in here. You know, at one point, somebody stole this 69 big block from my office. God bless you, Kirby. Great customer, great friend. He bought that for me, surprised and replaced that for me. We were talking one day. I, I, I couldn't believe that. Kirby from Virginia, thank you so much for that, buddy. Now here, spinning around, you got some more. What I love about this case, and, and see, when I was moving the office around, I had to take this out, and I dropped it and broke it. So I just got her back together. That's why I'm excited about it. I can get 40 124 scale in here. Oh, my buddy Jim got me that for my birthday. The Stingray Concept Cop Car. That's awesome. So that's what took place of the Corvette Christmas tree. And it's a great way if you've got uh, tight space constraints to display a lot of cars. I get 40 124 die cast in that sucker. Bought that off QVC years ago. I've never seen another one like it. Best 150 bucks I ever spent. And what I'd like to do right now is just share some feedback from Aaron. Last month, he bought a Z06 from us in the state of Washington and posted this on one of the forums about his buying experience and about the car. I thought it was really cool. Uh, the first line starts off, We don't need no stinking van. Who says you need an accessible vehicle just because you're in a wheelchair? One of the things I've learned in the Marine Corps is to adapt and improvise. I got a great deal from Rick Conti at Ohio, so I had the car shipped to San Diego to get my hand controls installed. It's more than I planned on buying, but the price is right on this 2016 3LZ Z06 with the Z07 package. Before shipping, I had Rick mount Pilot Super Sport tires and ship me the Cup 2 tires. I certainly didn't want to risk the cool, rainy drive home on those tires. Smart guy. And the money that you saved, hey, why not? Way to go, Aaron. I picked up the car late Saturday night and have been driving slowly home, but not always driving slowly, visiting folks and enjoying the drive. Spent Sunday with my newly minted Jarhead son at 29 Palms Marine Base. He's a father's son, all right. Then we met up with another friend and his 16Z06 for the afternoon of fun in Sacramento before getting my 500-mile oil change done at Abel Chevrolet in Rio Vista. First-class treatment all the way. The only reason I mentioned that dealership and he posted this is his so often we hear people they're afraid to take the cars that they buy from us out of state to their local dealerships and you know what most cases those dealers don't care where you bought it from sales is sales service is service service just wants to get paid to fix the car so it's good to hear that feedback and aaron thanks for sharing that with us uh, we continue on here real quick from there i cut across highway 20 to 101 and drove up the coast to the redwood forest at crescent city i cut over highway 199 also known as the redwood highway this is a great chance to try out the PDR and a great twisty road through the forests and canyons. A beautiful scenic drive. I'd highly recommend it to anyone in this area. 
but it would be more fun for me if it wasn't 40 degrees on these slightly damp pavement roads. I got home in Kent, Washington yesterday afternoon, 1800 mile drive in five days and I am thoroughly enamored by this car. The handling, the power, delivery, and overall comfort of this car is amazing. The eight-speed automatic shifts incredibly fast and is a massive leap forward from my six-speed automatic in 2008. Aaron, thanks for the business. Thanks for the feedback. I wish you the best, sir. Congratulations. Hey, let's show you those hand controls real quick, though. Now, this is one shot of the hand controls. That really, you can't even hardly see them. But if you look on the inside of the steering wheel, it's almost like a steering wheel within a steering wheel. Here's a side shot. You can see a little bit better where he's controlling the brake and the throttle up there. And as I've mentioned many times over, we're Corvette family here. I was able to hook up my past customer, Dr. Brian, with Aaron. They've had some great conversations. Brian's thinking about another high-performance car for himself. Uh, fantastic people. And for me, what an honor to be a part of this purchase. So thank you to both of you, and congratulations. Now here's something I wanted to show off to you real quick, and yes, we do a lot of national Corvette business, and I can't thank those people enough, but you know what? It all starts right here in our backyard, and you take, this is Central Ohio, okay? So there's a lot of Chevy dealerships down through here, up through here, here we are right here. All these Chevy stores, this is a true statement right here, each and every day, each and every year. We always have at Coughlin, Chevrolet, and Pataskala more Corvettes in stock, and every single year we sell more Corvettes than all these Chevy stores combined. Thank you so much for the support locally in our backyard and nationally. It's great to be a part of your Corvette family. And now on my vlog, I want to share that promo video to Spring Mountain, the Ron Fellows Race School in Nevada I was telling you about earlier. And I'll tell you what, if you buy a new Corvette, don't forget you have a year to use the discount coupon to that facility. You can go anyways. I mean, that's not a problem, but you do get a discounted rate as a new Corvette owner. I've done the track twice. was supposed to go this past fall, but hurt my foot, so was not able to do that. But at all the training I've had, I'm now in my 22nd year representing Corvette, and all the training that I've had, that that facility, bar none, the best, the best thrill, the best experience, the staff, all consistent, all on the same page. I even had some past customers that were race trainers and they've done some things like that over the years, different courses around. Uh, they've called me after they come back and they said, you know what, I actually learned something out there. They said, wow, that place is amazing. So check this out real quick. really love racing. Always have, always will. Well, I followed Ron. I've been watching him and Johnny O'Connell and everybody on the race teams for years. vision, making the right decision with your hands and your feet, and what you feel on your bike. All set. The quality of the instructors, the investment they make in you in order to make sure that you understand defensive driving, safe driving, and really get the most out of the car and your own skill is why I keep coming back. There's just so many things to utilize here for the family and for any guests that you have with you. Amenities here are incredible. The clubhouse, the lake, I went paddle boarding the other day, the backdrop of the mountains. I ordered a C7R and I want to be able to drive it. So I figured, you know, I can't drive it. You know, I can drive fast in the street, but anybody, anybody can do that. When I saw Ron Fellows walk in, I'm like, whoa, I've been a fan of his for a long time. Couldn't have been nicer, regular guy. You can tell he really cares. They've got planted people around. These guys get the information while you're on track in real time, and they're critiquing it. It's, it's amazing. Basically, 
the funnest three days of my life. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I can do a lot more of this. Your instruction was awesome, just the way that it built on each other all the way to today, and now it's like, we're done. I, I just want to, I'm sad. I don't want to stop. <laughs> really, really fun, though. Loved it. I'm glad I found this place. It's been part of my life now for a decade, and I'll be back. Now, isn't that something? And don't forget, when you go there, bring one of these, nothing bigger than a 32 gig. You'll slide this in the glove box so you can use the PDR while you drive their cars on the track and just have the thrill and the education of a lifetime. Okay, let's debut and give away that new Grand Sport hat we've been talking about. Well, this isn't it. This isn't it. And now, the C7 Generation brand new Grand Sport Hat. This thing is awesome. You're gonna see this a lot in the vlogs, I'll guarantee it. Just got it from my friends at CorvetteCollection.com. You're gonna have an opportunity to win it right now, only and exclusively on my YouTube channel. Here's how you do it. You're gonna have to be the first one to type in the comments, CorvetteConti.com rocks. That's my blog that we use to sell Corvettes, so a little subliminal message there. CorvetteConti.com rocks, the first one. I'll get you my email, we'll get you the address. You're gonna get the hat. Thanks for watching. Like me, subscribe, and we got more coming up. Hey, the way, we do have a second place prize for you. The second person to write, CorvetteConti.com rocks. We're gonna send you this exclusive 2017 full-line Corvette brochure. These are tough to get. We just got them in. We're getting ready to send them to the folks that have bought 17s from us in the last several months. But you're gonna have an opportunity not to spend 30 bucks at the Corvette Museum. You'll get it free from us right now from our YouTube channel. If you're gonna stop dreaming and you're gonna start driving, I wanna be your guy. I wanna be a part of your Corvette family.